All right, is the FZ8 for beginners? I'll give you a rundown, show you what it can do. But we have a 2012 FZ8. Um, I've had for about two or three years now. Um, it's got a slip on. It's got the, the k and filters. And it's got levers, windscreen, uh, tail tidy, integrated tail lights. They're, they're pretty cool. It's got the 190 rear tire on it. They come with the 180 or 185. I think it's 180. Um, it didn't have to do nothing special. But here we go. Is the FZ8 for beginners? Over 6,000 RPM, the, the tune changes, I guess you would say. It really turns it on whenever you get to 6,000 RPM, and I, I'll, I'll show you right quick. Put it in second, all right. Here it come on. It just starts pulling as soon as it gets to six. We'll do it one more time. We'll go full throttle. Second gear. some weight to it it's not a super light bike but it is a fairly light bike um, it is pretty quick okay we're in six gear we'll go 65 and do a full throttle pull in six gear just to give you an idea all right full throttle yeah, the speed armor's just jumping numbers. Now it starts pulling good. This is sixth gear. So the bike is fast. There's a lot of faster bikes out there, but the cool thing about this bike is for intermediate riders, like after you get your Ninja 250 or your your uh, R3 this is not a bad choice for an intermediate bike because like right here it's pretty tame you know it's it's fun to ride it still sounds good but also do wheelies too would say yes beginner as long as you have self-control um, intermediate yes to learn to start going fast and you can also take this bike to the track also this bike would do very well at the track um, yeah this thing's around 100 horsepower I don't know what the torque is but it's, it's a spicy little unit but I've also got a CBR 1000 double R 06 model and it is an absolute animal there's no way I would ever put somebody that that wants to feel the power but has never felt the power I would never put them on the, the CBR 1000 I would put them on this because this it's got that tame half of its tame and then the other half of the RPMs is just pulling and radical kind of so yes intermediate perfect bike before you move to the 1000 or just a race bike in general and this thing is I've raced a CBR 600 RR I think it was like a 0405 model and man it, it lurched out on them because it takes so long for them to to go through the, the gear 
because it's stretched out so far this one's kind of short geared and he had a tough time keeping up with me like i lurched out ahead of him pretty good and uh, i was pretty impressed with that with this thing but uh yeah let's do a little a little run had this thing the 152 before uh, so yeah it, this thing will scoot it'll scoot real good and you can get them super cheap like this bike right here uh, two or three years ago I paid twenty seven hundred dollars cash for it from an individual and man that's probably been one of the best purchases I've made in a long time because these Yamaha motors are just tough they are just tough and this one is derived from the r1 the old engine before the cross plane it's just got it's just smaller it's 800 cc's instead of the 1000 and it's basically the same thing just a little bit smaller just that much smaller but leave a comment subscribe give me a thumbs up peace out guys